Um, okay. Yeah. So I think um, I don't know, there's, uh, I, I have noticed something else I, I, I can point out to you and show you a little trick, uh, unless you've got a specific question. I have a couple of questions here, but go on with your trick and I'll answer them. I'll ask them later. Yeah. So one of the things with uh, uh, routing, so like this, you can see uh, the, all these, these are uh, the rat, rat nests. Uh, I call them, um, let's just call them lines because uh, you can call them traces or wires. People will think they're the same thing as traces and wires. Okay. Uh, so these are rat, rat nest lines. Uh, so these, these are the ones that actually show like how, where things are connected and uh, it really helps with the, the, the layout and stuff. And uh, just quick, you see how these are all, they're basically crisscross. So this one goes on this side. So they're all going to cross over. Is there a particular, do you need to have this in this particular orientation or can I rotate it 180 degrees? You can, you can rotate, rotate it. Okay. So if we, yep, sometimes they flip out. I'll just, there we go. Yeah. And this is, uh, so if somebody makes a component and the, uh, the center point is not on the part itself, it might actually flip around like that. Um, okay the origin like there's no uh, but anyway sometimes that happens and you can freak out but uh just keep pressing the space bar and it'll it'll pop up so now all these these are nice and uh you know lined up so they should just be able to go straight over so we can also um y y like uh here with four you probably you're not really you're probably not going to save a whole lot of time by doing what i'm going to show you uh but it's just kind of a i think it's a, a useful thing uh, so we can actually do uh, what's called interactive multi-routing. Um, so this would be something you want to do if you've got like uh, a whole lot of lines for uh, like a microcontroller or something like that, where you've just got a whole, uh, uh, where it, it might be a little time consuming to do them all. So we're going to do the same selecting them all. So uh, left clicking one and then uh, press and hold down the shift button and left click on my mouse again. We want to select all four of those. We're going to go up to route. Click route. Ah, nuts. <laughs> I missed. Eight. Hit escape again. So I want to click the drop down menu. I'm going to do interactive multi routing. So when I'll, I'll just hover over here and I am on the top layer. Now let me zoom in. And so we start it. So it does all four. Now you see, like it, it, uh, it wants to. You know, it's not really kind of working with us. It's not really being friendly. So I can do those two. So what we do before we start clicking away is we hit and press tab and then the spacing is 90 mils. So we can change that to, um, I don't know, let's do something like 20 mils and then hit enter. Nah. So now the, like the, uh, you know, it, it stays a little bit, uh, stays a little tighter. And so you can actually, like, it, it's not necessarily going to be able to figure it all out. So you might have to kind of, help it halfway. So let's just say we want to go, uh, let's just keep it under, this is just a, like a multi-turn pot that I'm hovering over R2. Yep. Yeah, so we'll just kind of keep the traces like that. And then uh, we'll you know, kind of help it along the way. And then we just click that. So, and then right click to get out of it. So that really uh, makes it nice. Like it, it does a good job keeping things nice and neat and it, it can really speed things up, so. That is yeah. cool. I do notice something that could be an issue with that though. And if, that? You, if you zoom in on the top connector of J5. Okay. Um, oh, okay. It, it looked from a distance that your the trace from the second part of that or the, the second pin down from the J5 connector was connecting to the J1 part. Yeah. And so that has to do with uh, setting up rules. So we can actually move this around and you can see it, it won't actually, uh, uh, electrically connect to it. Uh, but again, you know, maybe you're just, you know, that is, that is pretty, that, that's the pretty much of the tolerance. So you can actually kind of, you know, wiggle that out yourself, do it manually. Uh, so kind we, of touch can, it up. we can adjust single wires after we do the multi-routing. It's not going to like you click on one, it's going to move the entire set of them. Right. Right. Um, but you know, but you could, so if you actually, you know, uh, shifted shift click into all of these, uh, then, then it will. Okay, it just made a liar out of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you just click that, then you're actually separating. Oh, no. Never mind. I was going to say something that turned out not to be true. <laughs> Never mind. So one of the things Circuit Maker, sometimes it doesn't do things consistently. Like you might actually, 
it might do this nicely at one point and then um, and granted it might also just be the settings that uh, that you have or uh, you're just making a mistake but sometimes it does some uh, quirky things I can see um, I can see how that would be powerful and even if it's not perfect like if you can make finer adjustments to the single traces then you know at least if you get like a rough estimate of how you want your you know your set of traces to run you know you can make finer adjustments manually after the fact right yeah so, exactly. still pretty powerful yeah 